Hey guys, welcome back to the Steel Forum. My name is Nick Coffey. As always, we are here with a quick SDS2 tip for you. If your licensing goes down, if their server goes down, uh, what their support representatives are going to tell you is to just turn off your internet. Well, <laughs> we all know that in a modern office, turning off your internet is not a valid option. So I'm going to show you the quick workaround. It's uh, blocking port 443 of TCP. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, using our or how we've already done it. So I've already done it. Uh, for us because we are in the middle of the uh, great licensing shortage of, of 2022. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I did anyways so that you can do it. Uh, you can start by hitting that start menu, uh, jump into start type in Windows. Uh, you're going to see Windows Defender Firewall. Okay. You're going to come here. here. You're going to select inbound rules. You can see I've already created one here, but I'll go ahead and create a new rule just so that you can uh, understand how to do it. Okay, we're going to say new rule. Okay, we're going to say port. Next, specific local port. It's port 443. Next, you're going to block the connection. Next, on all three of these. Next, you can give it a, give it a name. SDS, SDS licensing should work better. And you're going to press finish. You're going to do that on inbound rules, and you can do exactly the same thing on outbound rules. Okay, you're going to do port, next, TCP, specific ports, 443. Next, block the connection. Next, Next, and no, really, it should work better. And finish, and that's it. I can't show you the, the contingency license button because I don't want to mess with anybody who's currently in the license, uh, but that's what it's going to look like you're going to get. You should see your licensing switch at some point. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes, but you get a button that says use contingency license. Uh, you can select that button and it'll give you a license for the time being. Now, once SDS2 figures their stuff out, uh, you can go ahead and disable this rule. Um, and you'll be back up and running back to normal. And the license and this button will be here again the next time that this happens, which, you know, we can all rely on there being a next time that this happens. Uh, so you can just go into Windows Firewall and just enable that rule again, and you'll be all set. So that's it. I hope this is helpful to you. I hope it gets you back up and running and making money again. And uh, we hope to see you back here on the Steel Forum.